Good morning, my lovelies. So first of all, Annie Karen is going to get some coffee. Top it up. Oh, wait a second. See, all these little things that you don't even think about. Do, 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 do. And I found kind of a funny little book uh, to read today, and I thought it would be appropriate. I have no idea why I actually have this book, because it's definitely not a book that I would have chosen for the artwork, so it just somehow ended up in my collection. So first, a little sip of bean juice. Mmm. All right, so are you ready? <laughs> Let's go to school. Seems a little kind of appropriate. Um, so this wonder book used to belong to Darren, apparently, whoever that is. And off to school we go. So I'll try to hold this a little closer so you can see the pictures because it's kind of funny. So this was written in 1954. <laughs> I don't even want to know um, how potentially politically or socially inappropriate this may or may not be. So bear with me. But here we go. Nancy and Bobby are going to school. They wait for the bus, the school bus. Here it comes now. Climb in, Nancy. Climb in, Bobby. It's fun to ride in the school bus. Soon it stops in front of the schoolhouse. Bobby and Nancy go up the steps of the schoolhouse with all the other children. This actually almost seems cruel to be reading this right now. Sorry, guys. In the schoolroom, there are lots of toys and games to play with. There are books to read, a rocking horse, blocks, clay, and paint, and a blackboard with numbers and letters written on it. So I think you're supposed to color these things in as, as you go through this, which I'm probably never going to do. <clears throat> All the children are sitting in their chairs. Miss Smith, the teacher, or otherwise known as mom, dad, or the other appropriate adult in your life, guiding you through these uh, homeschooling moments, is reading the children a story about a bunny. The book is called The Hungry Little Bunny. Let's color pictures with crayons. Let's make animals out of clay. There are so many things to make with clay. What do you make with clay? This is the strangest book ever. Although I do kind of like what he's got going on here with some of his little clay things. Little chicken, thumbs up. I used to do that with the boats, like make snakes and stack them. <laughs> Miss Smith plays the piano and everyone dances to the music. Here we go, all around the mulberry bush. Now we will all dance to London Bridge is Falling Down. Look at this, Miss Smith has little flower pots on the windowsill. Let's see what's growing. Here's the pussy willow growing in a flower pot. A carrot is growing in another flower pot. How many plants are on the windowsill? I'm gonna say there's two, pussy willow and a carrot, right? It's almost time to go home now. Now we will put all the toys away. Put on your hats and coats, children. Out the schoolhouse door we go. All the children march two by two. Bobby and Nancy's mother is waiting to take them home. All the other children's mothers are waiting too. What a wonderful day. School is fun. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give this a thumbs down for this book. I'm not sure. Firstly, why are only moms picking up the kids from school? Not a thing anymore. Everybody picks dads, moms, you know, legal guardians, friends, aunties pick people up from school. Plus it's missing. Some pages have been torn out. So yeah, let's go to school. 